It's a great day, but rainy day in South Carolina, and welcome to my channel. This is Karen with Xanadu Muse, and I'm glad you're here. Today I have a collective haul for you. Just a few items from each store, so I thought I'd throw it all in one haul. Where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, I went to the Dollar Tree, of course. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Library, Walmart, and I got some fun mail. Before I jump into it, I want to say one thing about Hobby Lobby. I know it's not everybody's um, favorite place to shop because they do have some issues with their moral beliefs. And the way I see it is if they're not breaking the law and there are discriminatory laws, discriminative laws, that the, if they don't break them, they're fine with me. I mean, I think they're wrong, but who am I to tell, you know judge them? Anyway, with that said, that's where I stand. I occasionally go to Hobby Lobby, not too often. I went this weekend. So let's start with the Michaels haul. I'm going to got a tip for you about Michaels. If you um, downloaded the app onto your phone, go ahead and um, link it to your rewards account because it will be very fruitful for you. I found out this weekend how fruitful because I got an extra coupon that most people did not get because I had my app. I'm linked with my phone number that I use for my rewards. If you're a frequent Michael's shopper, you will know about this reward. You give me your phone number. They stick in the computer. They send you emails for promotions and stuff. And when you want to return something, you don't have to have your receipt. Anyway, while everybody was getting the 50% off one item and the 20% off of everything on sale, I had a 60% off coupon and a 25% off all all sales items. I didn't need the 25% because I only bought one item. I bought this chalk paint. I usually buy the chalk uh, paint or something similar when there's nothing that I really, really got my eyes set on and been waiting for a 60% coupon. So to not let it go waste, I buy a thing of chalk paint. I'm going to show you what I used for my chalk paint. Oops. Sorry. It doesn't go there. I made this um, repurposed jewelry box. It is Mickey themed. There's, you can see a hidden Mickey right there. This paper I mod podged. I glued on the door handles. This door handle door drawers were two, but I glued them together. Took out the centerpiece, and this flips up. And I will be putting a real pic regular picture there. I glued on that ribbon, and I lined it with. Um, some washi tape and some book some book pages out of a dictionary and some punches that I have a Mickey and I keep my um, very tiny pink collection in there and my little tiny collection of Dollar Tree figurines <laughs> well these are keychains but there I do have the Dollar Tree figurines so I keep those stored safely in my little jewelry box. And it was one of those just brown, ugly, outdated jewelry boxes you can get at Goodwill for a decent price. Okay, that was it for Michaels, just with this one item. It was originally $7.99, and I got it 60% off, so I paid 40% for it. $3.70, I think. Let's jump to Dollar Tree, because it's sitting right here. I picked up these plates. Every I've seen some people haul them. I picked up six of them. I could decide if I wanted to get the light blue to go match with them or the dark blue. And when I compare the two, I definitely like the dark blue. So there they are. And I bought six of these. And the company is Royal Norfolk. And I did not get the coffee mug. The coffee mug is very similar to the bowl, which the pattern is just on the rim. I did get the bowl. And these are six. And I got six of those. What else did I get at the Dollar Tree? I got my little niece a pair of Minnie Mouse socks when we go to Disney. I got two of these bonus buys. The bonus buys are coming out, so keep an eye out for them. I bought two of these Grub Buddies dusters. Mainly to dust the window blinds. If the dogs stop tearing them up. Actually, the dog watches me go to my car and then he tears the window blinds up. I got some mounting tape. 
there's two kinds. One is the solid kind, and one is already pre-squared. I can't tell. You can see, there you go. You can tell that. Kind of wish I went with just this one and just bought two of these because this is 16 feet and this is only 10 feet. Yeah. So we're gonna see how that works. I might have to use it additional adhesives. The next thing I got at the Dollar Tree was this book. I got several in the series. This one's calculated in depth. They all came from the Dollar Tree. I think it's either Books A Million or Walmart, but I think it's Books A Million. Books A Million, it was $4.28. This says a former bestseller, and when it was a bestseller, it was $27.95. And it's by J.D. Robb. She has another Pisidium, Pisidium. Another name she writes under more flowering books, but this is her um her crime books. Let's see if it says it doesn't. It doesn't. Hmm. Can't remember who she is. What her other name is. Is that it for the Dollar Tree? It appears so. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay, next we'll go to Walmart. Walmart, they have some clearances on the crocheting and um, knitting. I only bought two things. My mom picked up a few more. She bought some knitting needles, the aluminum for a dollar, the bamboo for two dollars, and they had some books, and they she got a new, a new kit. But I just bought this peaches and cream. I'm not sure what kind of yarn it is. It says worsted, but I can't tell if it's cotton or not. And the color is Fruit Explosions, and it is cotton. And it's number four. And just how, how much is it? Two ounces were approximately, it says approximately 95 yards. And it's a blue with a yellow, no, I'm sorry, lime green and purple highlights in it. These are for tassels and twine. I got it for 75 cents. I think it's usually a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty. The other one I got is the Handy Crafter Crochet Thread, and it's a Christmas type of thread with dark green, dark red, and white, light with light green too. And it's size five, number five, and it's got it's eighty grams, two point eight ounces, three hundred fifty yards. It's by Bernat, and the color is Joy Mary Joy X Felice. And the, that's the date, I guess. No, maybe it's not. 2014-04-021. Maybe it's the color. I don't know. Anyway, I paid a dollar for it. I'm going to use it as twine for Christmas goodies in the future. And the reason I went to Walmart is I wanted to get a um, keyboard and mouse wireless. They had a set that was on clearance for nine dollars according to online but i couldn't find it and the lady couldn't help me find it she directed me to the clearance section for the um electronics and it wasn't there so i bought this one and it was 25 dollars. and i'm going to put my laptop attach it to my tv so i can have it easily available right now it's sitting in my bag right there on the floor i never use it so if i put it to the tv have that at my desk. I think I'll use it more. And that's it for Walmart. I'll show you what I got in the mail. I have the two subscriptions magazines. One's Somerset Studio, which is my favorite mixed media magazine. And this is the May and June issue. Of course, I immediately went back to the back page, which has the accidental crafter. There he is right there. He's hilarious. I think he's funny. Anywho. And he made a project, a crafty art project, out of his junk drawer. So that's inspiration. That's a challenge to you guys. He made a cloth that does not work because the watch is broken. But he says it will work. It's right two times a day. Ha, ha, ha. The other magazine I got was cloth, paper, scissors. I lost it. I'm going to have to repurchase it. It has not come to newsstands yet. That's why I don't have it. I didn't get to read it. I lost it. <laughs> Doesn't 
that stink. So that's it for the mail. The next is Hobby Lobby. And I did something at Hobby Lobby I never do. Pay full price for an item at a craft store. I never do it. But I will give myself prompts. I, the items I paid full price for wasn't over $5. Granted, it was $4.99, but they weren't over $5. I used... One was on sale, one was on clearance, and one was I used a coupon, and the rest I paid full price. Here is what I got on sale. It's this box of cards. I've been looking at them, looking at them, wishing, 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 but there's a paper pad to match this. My two Hobby Lobbies do not have this paper pad. If you guys know that your Hobby Lobby does, I'm jealous. Look at these, look at these prints. They're so cute. Doesn't the donuts just say... Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's um six fifty cards. They're five and a half by four point two five. Is that um A two? I don't know. I think A two's what is A two? A two's four by five, so they're a little bit bigger than A two cards. Ten designs. Maybe the envelope is the five and a half by four and a half, so they might be A two. Ten designs, five each, 100 pieces. So 50 cards, 50 envelopes. Okay, the clearance item was the Sizzix Thinlet die set. It is Christmas, sorry about the glare, but it's a pill box, pillow box. It is upside down because I had opened it to see if there's instructions, but there isn't. I'll figure it out. It comes with point, the poinsettia and it comes with the pillbox um, die. It was originally $12.99 and it was on sale for, on clearance for $7.79 and it's called, Je I guess Jen Long was the person who designed it. I don't know. The number is 660-660 and it's from Sizzix of course. Here is the item that I used the coupon on is this papery shop. This music notes. My next, I think my next roll I'm going to get is going to be of the uh, maps. It's 14 inches by 20 in 20 feet, excuse me. And it's just black and white. And I kind of wish it was more of a cream color, but it's not. But I can, you know, alter it. It was originally $5.99, 40% off. Here are the three items I paid full price for. I've been looking all over for these, and they're so hard to find. And I, I've looked at Hobby Lobby before, but they now have them. Usually, it's these are where the um, hobby stuff is, like collecting baseball cards and coins and stuff. But they moved these over to the note cards also, and this is clear bags. And these hold A2 cards, so if you want to sell them or if you want to protect them, they're 25 per in the package and they're they seal you can see the ceiling right there and they were three dollars and 99 cents the bag size is four and five eighths by five and three fourths and they are archival the next thing i paid full price for was 4.99 and it's a pack of stencils and they're envelope stencils and they're from dcwv what does that stand for? I can't remember. Something view. And they come with three pieces. And the sizes of the envelopes is an A7, an A2, and a gift card. The A7 is your 5x7 cards. The A2 is your um, 4... What the, I can't read it. 4x5 card. And your gift card is like two and a half by three and a half. So I don't know if you can see the templates, but there they are. And they have um, slits where you can um, do the scoring. That was $4.99. And to go along with that is a stencil for the liners. So they have three liners to match those three size envelopes. The A5, the A7, the A2, and the mini envelope or the gift card and it's with the same company dcwv and it was also 4.99 i think this should have been cheaper what do you think 
lastly, library. I checked out some books and I bought a few books. So, and I checked out some movies. Yes, I'm a dork. I love The Incredible Hulk. I think he's absolutely hilarious and fabulous. I watched season one through three on Hulu. Season three does have a few episodes of season four in it. But yeah, so I bought season, I didn't buy season four. I checked out season four, so I'm enjoying that. Then I got an Elvis. This is Roustabout. Who doesn't love a good Elvis movie? And he still cracks me up. He said, what, what does it say? It Elvis sings. Well, duh, Elvis sings. Better sing. <laughs> but I've been reading this book lately. I have it on digital form. I got it a long time ago, and I got it for free. I can't find where you can get it free anymore. Apparently, you have to pay 99 cents. For, you can either get 99 cents per novel, which is a better quality, or you can pay 99 cents, and you get most of them. Two of them are copyrighted, so you probably won't get them. The two that are copyrighted are Anne of Wendy Poplars and the Anne of Ingleside. But I had, which I just bought, by the way, on Amazon, by themselves, Anne of Wendy Poplars and Anne of Ingleside. So I, I've been reading this book. I actually finished it. Read it several times before. I've been wanting to watch the um, Megan Follows movie. So I checked out Anne of Green Gables. I had to go to two libraries for it. The second movie in this series, which is Anna Green Gables, the sequel, interesting story. The VHS was actually titled Anna Green Gables, no, Anne of Avonlea. That's a misdemeanor, misdemeanor, because this book, this movie, pretty much is based on the Wendy Poplar's book, not the Anne of Avonlea book, except for two big differences. Well, one big difference. In the movie, Anne had got mad at Gilbert and there were they were no longer talking to each other. In the book, the Wendy Poplar book, when she goes to be principal of the school, she's actually engaged to Gilbert. So this is this is when she was a little bit younger-ish and the Wendy Poplar is when she was a little bit older-ish. This one is the continuing story it says it's disc four, so I'm hoping it's because they combined all these into one movie and made this disc four. There, um, the reason I went to the two libraries, they had this one and they had the second one. They didn't have the first one. They only had the bonuses. So I'm thinking the bonuses was disc number two. Disc number one was the number one movie and disc number three was the second movie. And hoping this is disc number four, the third movie. I'm not 100% a fan of this movie, but I got it just because Megan Follows is in it. It does not go by the book at all. Not close. Some books I checked out. I checked out The Repurposed Library. It is by Lisa. I'm going to have to spell the name because I can't say it. It is O-C-C-H-I-P-I-N-T-I -I -I, and it's just a book about repurposing old books. And there's so many old books out there that need new life. So I know there's some people who don't believe that you should tear up a book, but there's some really bad books. And this is like a thing for your fireplace. And I, I can use that. And uh, let's see if they got another interesting one that I liked. Um, a Birdhouse with a kid's book, children's book. Library Library sells children's books for 50 cents, so why not? The next two books I checked out are Mod Podge books. This is the big book of Mod Podge. You may remember from my last Dollar Tree haul that I hauled some baskets. And you guys know these baskets. They're the ones with the hang like this and you put your flowers in. I bought them basically because of this tutorial right here. Then I saw another one in this magazine right here. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to do this. I'm, I think it was this magazine. It should, should be up front because I didn't read very much of it. Up oh, there it is. So these are two good ideas to use those baskets for. Now I'm thinking about why not a Barbie doll form and then the dress and then you know, steampunk her up. Why not? 
So another awesome project I liked was these shoes. I'm going to be doing these shoes, definitely. These are with maps. I might do it with my music notes. And another project I was very keen on is this um, form. You can get these styrofoam forms at Hobby Lobby with a coupon. Yeah, that's um, the big book of Mod Podge and it's by Plaid and I think it's by different authors. Because there's, it doesn't really say one per particular person. The second book is by Amy Anderson. Is the Mod Podge Rocks. And I had shown in the same video when I hauled those baskets that I had bought hauled these pictures and there they had you know sides to it and I said I was gonna make a um, backgammon game and there you go there it is another idea I liked is this um, advent calendar this one's Halloween but why not doing it for East, um, not Easter well you could do it for Easter you could do it for um, Christmas whatever and one another one that I really liked is these bar stools. I'm not really sure you can be able to see them because the picture is pretty small, but it is of comic heroes. On there, I thought that was pretty cool. So those are the books I checked out. I did buy two of them because they have a little section called Friends of the Library. My closer one is actually bigger than the main library, oddly enough. And the children books are 50 cents. I picked up the Marvelous Land of Oz. I seen it there the last time I went and it was still there so I picked it up. I actually do have this book already. So I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it up or not. I'm going to look on um, Amazon and see how much it's selling for. And if it's selling for a good price then I definitely won't cut it up. If it's not selling for a good price I might use it for my fireplace screen. And this last book I bought is Good night lullabies, and it's got Disney characters. And that's for my little niece, because she's a little cutie patootie. And that is it for my hauls. This is actually the second time I've recorded this, and it went from 27 minutes to 22 minutes. Now, I think that was a little better. Anywho, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the appropriate box. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Please, no drama. Because I'll just delete the comments. Or I might get snarky back then. <laughs> Who knows? Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see other hauls. I'm going to try to step away a little bit from the hauls and try to do more tutorials. And I was thinking about doing uh, about my town kind of thing. And I thought that would be fun. But who knows? We'll see. So thank you for watching Zena <laughs> that was that's That belongs to Audrey. <laughs> She's so nosy. Do not push those. <laughs> oh, there it is. it's back again. Now she's upside. You guys, I wish you guys can see her. She's sitting on my book upside down, feet in the air. <coughs> Till we meet again in the next video. Stay true to yourself and good night.